This video is made possible by our loyal Patreon supporters. Visit patreon.com slash psychytruth. Welcome back. This is Chandler Rose, and welcome to our back massage. I'm going to show you my favorite massage techniques and also talk more about some helpful self-care tips. Let's get started. So today, this video is brought to you by Prana Mat Eco. This is a therapeutic massage mat that you can lay on. It's very good for back pain, headaches, relaxation, and also for sports massage. Pranamat Eco recommends that you lay on this mat for at least 15 minutes, depending on what you have going on. It's also very good for boosting energy. And you can use it anywhere. So it's a really awesome self-care tool that you can take with you on the go. So as we are getting settled, I'm going to use some very relaxing massage oil. Karina works so hard making videos, helping people with their own wellness practices and coaching all the presenters here. I'm so thankful for her and I love any opportunity to get to give her a massage. First, I just like to assess what I feel going on in her body today. I can tell that she's been doing a lot of work with her shoulders and arms and hands. Massage around the spine, the erectors, rhomboids, and trapezius is a really great way to start a massage to remind us how much our body is doing for us. I'm going to come into my favorite, one of my favorite techniques. A little balancing here on either side of the spine. And if you're working on someone you care about, be very mindful of where the spine is and you want to stay on either side of the spine coming into prayer position and when you find a place where tension you can feel tension in the muscles just stay there for a moment and you can Slowly rock from side to side, opening up this middle back and thoracics. This is a wonderful technique for encouraging a bigger, fuller, deeper breath. Breathing is one of my favorite 
techniques to activate the parasympathetic nervous system. And if you're not in a place where you can receive a massage, come back to your breath. You can take a deep breath in to the count of five and out to the count of 12. Making the exhale long and drawn out is another really great tip for your own self-care. Practice making this exhale very slow will help you and your massage therapist be able to relax deeper the tissue can become more malleable now that I have some good circulation happening in the middle thoracics. Just gonna scoop up under the traps and neck. So I'm basically taking my palms and fingers and sweeping up through that upper thoracics near those top ribs and into the trapezius. Sliding around the scalenes which are the neck muscles that assist in turning the head. And the sweeping of the anterior neck, it's kind of hard to see, but you can almost use like a ribbon technique coming up towards the occiput and then tractioning a bit to help even things out. I like to start on the left because most people are right dominant. And if you open up the left side, it's practice for working into the right quadrant, which tends to be more dense and more tender and more stiff. And the body has this incredible mechanism of learning. So if you teach the body to open and relax on one side, when you move to the other side, the body already has wisdom around that area. And you'll find once this side is open, the other side will, will open quicker, more easily. The body has learned something from this stretch we're creating. So I'm gonna go back on her dominant side, her right side with my left arm and take Another one of my favorite techniques, which is a one arm balance between the spine and shoulder blade. Being careful to keep my hand relaxed, to keep my own spine and neck straight being mindful of not going too deep with my elbow. Helping to open the right side. The right shoulder and the neck muscles that attach to that area. Mm -hmm. 
Another really helpful technique is locating the corner of each shoulder blade just close to where the spine is. So the top corner. So one point being here and one point being here. This is the attachment of the levator scapula, which is responsible for elevating the shoulder blade. It's also really involved in the symptoms of pain in the neck and or headaches. So if you can take your thumbs and undo some of that accumulated tension. That will allow these shoulder blades to drop down. Those headache points can feel some relief. Do the same thing on her right side, her dominant side, locating the corner of the shoulder blade, locating the attachment points, and releasing that area. And if you feel a little blip under your fingers, tight muscle here, then I would say back off for a moment and then sink in again. Listen to her breath. Take your own breath. One of my other favorite techniques, which you can also do on yourself at home maybe before you lay on your prana mat for 15 minutes, is with your opposite hand, reach around and grab your trapezius. And if you're lucky enough to have someone else do this for you, practice, communicate the kind of pressure that you feel is most effective for you. And what you want to do is take your fingers underneath this area, your thumb on top, create pressure in between and slowly slide out towards the corner of the trapezius. Also really great for headache relief. And again, I'm just going to come back to that scalene area in the anterior neck. Sweep through, opening up this fascial layer in the front of the neck, often accumulated by forward shoulder posture, stress, worry, eye strain. Open up those spaces and breathe and let it go. And on the other side, sweep through her dominant side. This is going to feel like an intense pressure. And if you ever find the person you're working on, or maybe you're working on yourself and you feel an area where it feels like almost, almost too much pressure. Breathe into that. Know that it's just one moment and that it will pass. And if there is sensation there, if there is pain, it's a place to move into and not away from. 
change comes from the places that are tender and sore. So I'm doing the same rolling, pinching, pulling up the trapezius on her right side. And that corner, the top corner just above the deltoid, so here is a really good area to work on either side. It's a common trigger point for headaches when released. A headache should lessen when activated or pushed. It may cause a headache sensation or a referral, which is healthy, normal. Shows you the places of overuse or stagnation or Maybe it's just tight from holding a certain position, from working at a computer or driving or looking at your phone. I find that even watching a massage video can be a meditation, self-care, space, a reminder for yourself that you have this body that does so much for you. Five, 10, 15 minutes of quiet time, space for yourself. watching a massage video, taking your mind off of whatever it is. You may not have any control over it right now. And the best thing you can do is direct your attention back to this moment. This is your moment to receive to breathe, to take three collective breaths, breathing in to the count of five, breathing out to the count of 12 if you choose. This is a good way to unwind Allow your body to feel safe. You are safe. You are supported. You are cared for. And as I continue to assess her tissue with my hands, I can feel she still has some tension built up here. So I'm gonna come back to my one arm. Pressure point. One thing you want to be mindful when doing this technique is the rib cage. Oftentimes people will say, I have a knot, I have a knot here. Work on this knot. And it's not a knot. <laughs> it's a rib. All your ribs are in here, so if you're palpating the tissue and you feel that it's hard and feels more like a rib, I would say back off and go to an area where it's more soft tissue. You can work around the ribs, you can work into the intercostals. The intercostals assist in breathing. So when you get a back massage, you're also 
helping yourself take a deeper, fuller, more relaxed, balanced breath. Now that her shoulders are feeling more open, I'm just gonna go up to her neck and offer a little squeeze. Invite her to breathe. She might feel some shift between the spaces in the spine and the connections from the neck muscles into those vertebrae. Our spine, when it's nourished with massage or yoga or stretching or sleep, the spine is more mobile, more flexible, more fluid with all of these practices. And when your spine is happy, your whole body feels better, more supported, more balanced. And then we have these oils that are absorbing. They have benefits that assist in breathing, that help decrease inflammation. There's also this component with the sense of smell that can offer benefits for memory, for mood, for feeling more joy, more stability, more supported. Self-care can be so many practices. It can be yoga, but it can just be drinking water mindfully or soaking in the tub with Epsom salts or taking a walk in a pretty place where the air is clean and fresh. be just listening to a storm pass and doing nothing or holding a pet or a loved one so now that I have her shoulders nice and open I'm just going to offer one more helpful tip, especially loved by women because of all our sacral tension or hip tension. And it's simply just taking one hand, gliding down the sacrum, offering stretch. This is also something you can do over clothing for a little more fascial stretch. So one hand is bracing, one hand is pushing down into the sacrum. For some, this may feel intense. For others, it may feel subtle. The connection between the sacrum, this bone here, the spine and the cervicals Hello, Abby. All helps with balance. Also very good for decreasing back pain, offering a simple fascial stretch. If 
thank you so much for joining us. And I wanted to thank Pranamat Eco for their lovely self-care tool. And if you'd like to check it out, check the link in the description for more information. And I hope you have a beautiful, relaxing day. See you soon. Thanks. Introducing Yoga Plus, offering a free series every month with over 300 different videos. Take control of your health. Work out anytime, anywhere. Yoga Plus, download now for free.